Hey, this is Brian back again with another video tutorial for you guys. I wrote a blog entry a couple of years back about a particularly nasty error message you can get on Windows XP Vista and 7, and it usually occurs after you've been infected with a virus or some other type of malware, and it uh, is caused by a registry entry or a policy setting that prevents you from running certain programs on your computer. Uh, the virus might block, for example, your antivirus, or it might block uh, regedit, so you can't edit your registry. Might block msconfig. It'll uh, they'll usually block things that will prevent you from getting rid of the virus. So uh, I'm going to show you what that looks like today and uh, show you exactly how you would solve that problem. I'd like to show you guys exactly what this error looks like so you know how to identify it. Um, what I've gone ahead and done is intentionally blocked myself from running Notepad. And uh, so if I go and I click my Start button and click Notepad, there we go. I get this dialog box that says Restrictions. This operation has been canceled due to restrictions in effect on this computer. Please contact your system administrator. Um, what this means is that well, if I were in a network environment, perhaps my network administrator actually did restrict me from running this application. Um, if you're a home user, more than likely it is the result of malware. Um, these uh, fake antivirus applications that are running rampant these days, uh, they'll often do this. So your uh, antivirus, every once in a while, your antivirus may actually get rid of the virus, but it won't uh, fix these uh, these little problems that it's caused. So even if you've gotten rid of the virus, you may still run into this problem. So we're going to show you how to fix this right now. There's actually two ways that a virus can block you from running applications on your computer and I'm going to show you how to look for both of those and how to fix them. Um, the first and probably the most common is for it to create registry entries that prevent you from running an application. Um, what we'll go ahead and do is click our start button and type regedit which brings up the registry editor. Uh, we'll click that and of course we get a UAC dialog here because we have to run this program as an administrator. We'll click yes All right, sorry that opened on my other monitor. Um, now what we're going to be looking for is a very specific key. It's under H key current user, and then it's under software. And under software, we're going to look for Microsoft. And under Microsoft, we're going to look for Windows. Under Windows, we look for current version. And under current version, we look for policies and then Explorer and finally under Explorer we're looking for a key called disallow run. Now if you uh, don't find that folder under Explorer well that means that the application is actually being blocked a different way. So of course it's here for me so what I'm going to do to enable myself to uh, run Notepad again is look here uh, I can see that there's a an entry here for notepad under disallow run. I could simply delete that key or if you note that you have a lot of keys under here which is probably caused by a uh, piece of malware a virus blocking every antivirus that it possibly can. Um, we'll just go ahead and right click on the disallow run folder and delete that. So now if I go and try to run notepad it should run successfully and it did. So now we'll go ahead and look at the other way that your applications might be blocked. What you're going to want to do here is type group policy and this allows us to use the local policy editor. I'm going to maximize that and I want to look under user configuration, administrative templates, system, and what we want to look for is a setting over here that says don't run specified Windows applications. Now if I double click that, I can see here that this setting is not configured on my machine so obviously the application wasn't being blocked this way. Um, if it was, this would be set to enabled 
and if I would click the show button I would have been able to see notepad.exe under here so why don't we just go ahead and do that real quick see how this works click OK OK now that policy is enabled let's try to run notepad and of course I get the same dialogue this operation has been canceled due to restrictions in effect on this computer so let's just go back here and disable this policy we'll click show and get rid of notepad.exe there we go and then we're gonna set this back to not configured and apply and there we go, we can run Notepad again.